practical way to demonstrate the innovation of the 7 series DPO, especially in our effective number of bits and the resulting signal to noise ratio, is to visually show the performance of the new signal path. To do this, I will use a sine wave that has been averaged 10,000 times to remove most of the random noise. We will call this an ideal signal. This is the gray REF1 waveform at the top of the display. I'll use this nearly noiseless signal to compare the performance of two different oscilloscopes. I have previously captured the blue REF2 sine wave shown on the bottom of the display as the single shot acquisition using a 25 gigahertz 8-bit oscilloscope. I have previously defined MATH2 to be the ideal minus REF2 resulting in a residual or difference waveform from the 8-bit scope indicated by the green MATH2 waveform on the bottom of the display. In a perfectly noiseless system, this would be a flat line. Now let's acquire a single shot on channel 1 of the 7 series DPO. Performing the same calculation as before results in a residual or difference waveform from the 7 series DPO, shown here as the orange MATH1 waveform in the middle of the display. It is very easy to see that this results in a substantially smaller deviation from the ideal waveform compared to the 8-bit oscilloscope, showing the superior performance of the new front-end design of the 7-series DPO.